Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Umineko. Sorry for the uh, extra day in there. I, I got really just piled up with work, and I finally had a day off, and I just... I decided I needed to take a day off, because I, I'm, I'm very tired. But now, now I'm good. And uh, we are going to continue with Angie's Angie's quest to see if she can get all the other people back, because she is tired, and she... Uh, she, she, she's just looking for a way to go to sleep, really. She's bored. I'll have to strengthen the image from my knowledge of the Grimwire. Grim, Grimoire. And materialize them with just that. I held my hands out into the air. Replying in my head of the sensation from when I had summoned Mammon. I'm acquainted with all of the Seven Sisters, right? Remember in the past. The time I talked with them. Once again, the power of magic began to fill me up. It let off a faint and yet distinct pale light from both of my hands. でもそれが今夜という保証はないよ。エンジ様ならできますって。エンジ様お願い。末っ子のアスモから。アスモデウス七条。わかった。末っ子から順番に呼ぶわ。A strand of hot sweat dripped down my forehead. This really is going to be one heck of a burden. The pale light in this space began to slowly form into the outline of a girl. There was no vessel. However, with a strong conviction that she definitely did exist there as a core, her form began to crystallize. Her outline became distinct. In the form of the youngest of the Seven Sisters, Amadeus, was finally created. No, I didn't. At this rate, I wonder how many I can summon. If I can't concentrate, this is probably it. The pale light made an outline, and formed into Belisabub. You know it. Mammon and Amadeus jumped onto Belisabub, celebrating their reunion. Summoning three people at once. My head was throbbing. Without resting, summon the next one. Oh, she's on a roll, isn't she? なんと私がまだ必要とされるとは。エルフェネ、お腹空いた。じゃなくて、また会えて嬉しい。また流しまいみんなが再会できるなんて。エンジ様、本当にありがとうございます。この調子で次はサタンだよ。デビアネーもル
たちは結構きついエンジンもうそれ以上無理をしないでこれだけ久しぶりなのによく4人も召喚できたよよせマモ今のエンジェ様には我らの召喚は負担を強いているエンジェ様どうかご無理をなさりませんよ No, of course, of course, ma'am, and yeah, you're just being a jerk. Of course, I feel like Angie's definitely going to take the bait on that one. No, I. So nice, ma'am, and really, for all that Angie's done for you so far. My mind's getting hazy, but I'll call, even though I've forgotten those days. Even though I hadn't thought of those days as anything but sadness and loneliness. Because certainly, the short time I've spent with them was fun without a doubt. Satan, who had apparently figured out the situation immediately after being summoned, cried out in a loud voice, telling your sisters off. That loud voice made my consciousness, va consciousness fade again. Why couldn't we have saved the annoying ones for last? Oh my gosh, I almost forgot how annoying they were. In a situation where I had summoned five of them, and where they were messing around as they pleased. The load was far too heavy for me currently, with my meager magic power. This is... it. Oh, I thought she was actually going to go for all of them. As my consciousness went hazy, I fell over onto the bed. Have beds always felt this soft? It seemed that the sisters were still squabbling together as much as they liked. For a way to kill time until drowsiness comes to get me, this is enough. Feeling something warm and nostalgic in the sisters' liveliness, I sank into a world of deep sleep. At the entrance to my dream world, I felt Maria Onechan and Sakataro waiting to receive me. My favorite character. Welcome back, is it? Then I should respond like this. 
glad to be home. I do really like this track. This is this is a really good track. I mean, not saying that any of the other ones aren't good, but that one in particular is pretty good. That's right. Just once in the past, I underwent training which should have allowed me to step into the world of witches. I think this is going to finally go into that, um, that thing where I was suspecting something and people basically told me that, yeah, uh, there was a period of time that we haven't quite gotten to that we should be getting to either now or very soon. This might be it, I'm not sure. That explains a bit more about Angie's past. I accepted that the only power which could save me from my sad, painful days at St. Lucia Academy was the thing called magic, and I received Maria's introduction to the basics. I projected that scene from a memory into my mental world. Normal girls get over admiring witch girls when they leave elementary school. So serious training to use magic at this age was embarrassing even for me. But even that embarrassed emotion felt pleasant to me now. Right now I was learning mental concentration from Maria Onechan in order to use magic. But it wasn't going very well. It was about as hopeless as teaching a person to wiggle their ears by showing them. It seems that you need to imagine a vast space to gain the mental concentration for using magic. So I remember the time from my younger days when my family had gone on a small vacation. When I had looked down towards the base from a viewing platform at a rest stop at the peak. And I tried painting this scene in my mental world. もっともっと広い空間をイメージして、そして、エンジだけの新小世界を作り上げるの。まだまだイメージが霞んでる。空気に温度もないし、風もない。匂いもない。まだまだ世界が希薄。それらは後でもいいから、今はとにかくもっと
However, Maria, Maria, Maria Onei-chan had shown that she could fill her own world with happiness using a power that was impossible for me. I had come to look down on that happiness as an empty happiness. I had denied everything, thinking that because I didn't accept magic, I couldn't accept the happiness that came from it either. But slowly, bit by bit, Maria Onei-chan's world grew happier. In the past, I had disparaged it, thinking it was too pitiful to look at. But that might have been nothing more than jealousy. I had to admit that. And this had been my first step in my search for happiness. A vast space. A dry wind that could blow without being blocked by anything. Let me feel that wind blowing through my own hair. I see. Even the ground might block me as I am now. Then I don't need a ground. Brush the ground away downwards, downwards. In other words, it was as though I had floated up, leaving the ground far behind. After pushing the ground further and further downwards, the ground grew foggy and faint. And for the first time, it began to feel like the sky. Then, I understood its vastness. In that instant, I felt the vivid wind go right through even my body. In other words, blowing through me without any resistance. So, so no Ruining my concentration, you stupid stuff, tiger, or uh, lion thing. At this point, yeah, at this point in time that this is currently taking place, this is like she's still in school, right? She's not still running away from the, uh, from the other family. Yeah, yeah, she's still in the school. She's in the uniform. Yeah, they're part of the same group, so they can summon allies within the same group. I see. You could call Sakataro a being employed by Onechan. So as a witch in the same alliance as Onechan, it's also possible for me to summon Sakataro. I met Sakataro's gaze. How pleasant it would have been for him just to be there by my pillow. So he could talk to me a bit on there on lonely nights. Looking happy and making his eyes round, Sakataro pressed his head against me like a cat. Suddenly getting a cute younger brother felt a bit confusing, a bit embarrassing, and a bit pleasant. Unable to understand why I couldn't honestly accept this feeling, I felt tears well up in my eyes. <sighs> Yeah, 
ベアトリーチェの家具 Hearing Beatrice's name gave me a slightly strange feeling. When it came to the crime on Rokin Jima, the public had been going on and on in a frenzy about how it was a sacrifice ceremony of the witch. And that witch was Beatrice. So if the culprit of that crime was a witch, it would mean that she was the culprit who stole my family. Yeah, I was always wondering why. I don't know. Like, this has got to be a weird feeling for Angie because she, you know, she obviously loves Maria. You know, she very lovingly refers to her a lot. But at the same time, Maria's, like, best friends with Beatrice, so that's got to be a kind of odd feeling. However, Maria Onechan said that Beatrice was a good witch. She would get mad if I held negative emotions towards Beatrice. Get into a nasty fight and refuse to talk for a while. At this moment, One Chan was my only close friend. So, to avoid worsening the mood of my close friend, I had decided to think of Beatrice as nothing more than One Chan's teacher, magic teacher even. Also, I believed that the crime was a conspiracy cooked up by Aneva. Well, it, it probably was. I would definitely expose the truth about that someday. Angie. また体内に妨げが混じってるよごめんなさい集中を書いたわもう一度 I'd expect no less from you, Onei-chan You instantly noticed that I was being overcome with idle thoughts After shaking my head just once I reimagined the wind blowing through a vast space 煉獄の七姉妹なんだか物騒な名前ねでもとっても賑やかで楽しい子たちだよエンジェの新しいお友達になってくれるかもしれない。おいや、they're great fun。ま、ずは私を呼び出してみせるね。見てて。マリア・オネチャン lifted both hands up to the level of her head and quietly unified her mind. The state that I had not been able to reach after meditating for a long period of time, she reached in the span of a, cute, of, a, of a few quick breaths. Then a pale light began to gather in her palm, and one by one the girls began to show themselves. <laughs> Our favorite sisters. One, two, three people. Four, five, six, seven people. The way they were summoned one after another in a line was a masterpiece. Incredible. Just like the illustration in One Chan's Grimoire. The Seven Sisters of Purgatory. The younger sisters were behind the eldest, Lucifer, who saluted One Chan. Oh, yeah, we're just doing well not being used. I forgot about this music. Have they played this music in a while? I feel like it's been a while since I've heard this music. Maybe, maybe I missed the spot, but I, I don't remember hearing this music for quite a while. Don't eat Sakataro. Hugging is prohibited. So it did a Satan Nega Ichiban Dakshimetagatirio. What does your bet any enough of Kono Puni Puni no Wahua Nante? Kora Maria Kyoto Enja Samana Gozeo. She's a kind of psycho no good item. They were so energetic. I was shocked by their sudden burst of activity right after they appeared. And on top of that, I was surprised that the innocent Sakataro 
was on such good terms with the Seven Sisters. いない。さくたろがアナブソーナ連中にこんなに可愛がられてるなんて。同じ同名の仲間たちだもん。ゴアクなんかないよ。でも万が一彼女らの機嫌を損ねちゃったら。いや、they <笑> One of the packs of married sorcier, mutual non-aggression and non-interference. Member witches must respect each other's magic and creations. Even the sisters who were normally shady and belligerent interacted with fellow alliance members as friends. So to the seven sisters, Sakatara was a mutual friend. He was loved by all of the Seven Sisters, and they were even trying to steal him away from each other. The scene as they squeezed him and loved him was a bit charming. At a glance, you'd think that Sakataro's casual atmosphere and the Seven Sisters' shady one would be like water and oil. It looked like they definitely wouldn't be compatible. And yet, they were interacting in a friendly way like it was completely natural. If this wonderful alliance could join all the peoples of the world, I wonder if everyone in the world would be able to become friends right away.君たちを権限させる魔力を私からエンジェに移す。その状態でいつも彼女の身近にいてあげてほしいの。彼女の話し相手になったりしてあげるだけでいい。恐れながらエンジェ様の魔力では私たちナナ姉妹全てを四六時
I'd kind of agree. I'd, I'd agree with the with saying it's not that great, just because the uh, the information's good, but the way it's portrayed with all this jumping around is a little hard to grasp onto. I mean, I understand it. It's just it's a little jarring, if that makes sense. But uh, not not bad information, to to be, uh, to be honest. Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for some more Amin Echo. Bye!